Hello, this is Amanda with From Where I Stamp, and today I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of the January to June mini catalog. Today on stage starts, and I'm so looking forward to tonight, to our party, which um, um, should be happening soon. So tonight, I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, Friday and Saturday, so tomorrow and the next day, we're... Um, on stage is continuing and we'll be able or i'll be able to see new products with a new catalog and the celebration items and um, learn more about how they work and um, i'll be sharing some exciting information along the way on my on my facebook page and on instagram so make sure to follow those um, those links are in the um, description below so we're going to use something from the current annual catalogs that is still current until May 3rd. I believe it's May 3rd. And um, the new stamp set that I received in my onstage swag box. So just a moment, I'm going to switch over the cameras and we'll get started on this card. All right. So the Yora Peach Designer Series paper is from the um, annual catalog. And you can purchase the stamp, and I think it's dies that match it. But I didn't like them, so I didn't purchase them. But I love the design of some of these papers. Not a big fan of the peaches, but these other geometric designs are perfect for other projects. So, and if you're wondering where the grid paper came from, it's uh, it was included in my swag box as well. So this is kind of a hint. I'll show you this here. Maybe you can see it. And it almost looks like, I was going to say Heather, but it's not really, or Rosemary or something, but it's not really. And the other thing I wanted to share was we also got these little buttons. I love the on stage at home button and then the little uh, windmill and little cactus. So those are cute. And of course, today's Remembrance Day, so I'm wearing my poppy. All right, so big reveal of the stamp set. It is called In The Moment. So this stamp set is going to be available in January. Or if you're a demonstrator, you might be able to order it in December. But we'll find out more details, demonstrators will, in December on what we can order from the catalog. So it has, we're going to use this one here. Made me think of those rainy days where you're just sitting with a hot cuppa. And uh, I don't drink tea, but I drink um French vanilla mix, kind of like hot chocolate coffee. Anyway, um, and this one made me think of watching a sunset or even by the ocean with the birds. And you could leave the birds off by masking that if you didn't want that on your card. And then this is one that will, might work really well with a snow scene. I can just imagine curled up with Griffin reading a book in bed or on the couch or something nice and cozy. And then it has some great sentiments. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself, too. You're in my thoughts, and sometimes the most productive thing we, you can do is relax. So wonderful sentiments. All right, so we're going to use the blue lines here from Yora Peach. And one of the, that blue, this blue, coordinates with balmy blue. So I have some Midnight Muse cardstock. And I have it already scored. Of course, it's our half sheet of cardstock. So you can get two cards per sheet. Then we have this designer series paper, which has gorgeous uh, blooms on the back side. And we're just going to, oops. stick this right on the front. So this is a nice simple card and this is 12 by 12. The Yora Peach designer paper is 12 by 12 so you can get quite a few cards out of one sheet. So you can get uh, one, two, three, four, so six of them. I had to visualize that one. All right so I didn't think about where the sentiment would go but we're going to put this down here and this here and we'll stamp on the basic white piece. And then we'll grab some watercolor. Actually, I think we're going to grab, what is it called? Wink of Stella. 
I got the wink of Stella. We'll use that here in a minute. So we're going to use this one here. And it's a red rubber cling. So you can't see through them, but I put the, uh, I'm looking for my block and I forgot to bring it up. I put the stickers on the back of my stamp so I can, it's almost like you can see through them. Not quite, but almost. And we are going to use Memento Tuxedo Black because we are going to use some blends. At least I think I'm going to use some blends. You do, if you're going to use watercolor, the preferred ink would be uh, stays on. But stays on doesn't work very well or can be pulled up with um, the Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to put this over here. Like so. And she's not quite straight, but that's okay. I don't think it matters too much. And we'll just clean this up with a little bit of water and the Simply Chamois. Move that off. And then let's see if any one of these fit. So not really. So we're going to put this, this one here. So I have my block G. This block was block D, I believe. Yep, block D. I have that upside down, but that's all right. And then put that down. And I'm going to use, I'll use black for the sentiment. I was going to use my Midnight Muse, but it's over there. And I don't want to go get it at the moment. <laughs> All right. So, excuse me for a moment. You might see my head a little closer. Yeah, that's a little crooked, but not too bad. Nothing's going to be perfectly straight in stamping or crafting. And that's just fine. All right, so I figured that she would be looking out at blue skies. One of my favorite things about fall is the vibrant blue skies. The orange trees, the leaves, I should say. Oh, that didn't work. Um, the orange leaves against the bright blue sky with the way the sun is. So I'm just squeezing the ink pad together to put some ink on the, the lid. You could also just pull up the ink right off the ink pad, but, uh, oops, there we go. So I think this one is good. I may have to buy a new one. All right. Well, sugars, I guess I need to add that to my order. It's not going to work. All right backup plan. The reason I was going to use Swinka Stella is because it has some sparkle to it, but we are going to use our water painters instead. So this, I hope I have enough water. This one is one of the fine tip. We also have kind of a bigger tip. And then one of my favorites is like this big paintbrushy one. So you can choose which one you want to use. But we're going to use this one and it does have push so let's see if the water will come out yeah there we go so a little bit of water there i like having a kleenex or a tissue or something and just pulling up you don't want too much water because um, i should have probably used some thick basic white for this just because i'm doing some water coloring so i wanted just to add And this almost could be frost. We've had some of those days here in Ontario. Although today it's not too, too bad. So we're just gonna put our sky, whatever you know you wanna call it. I need a little bit more color in there. And you could color in her jeans or pants, slacks, whichever. You could color in her hair. You could do that with the water painters if you wanted. I 
I really love the fine tip on this one. So if it's not, if you start off with a little bit of color, then you can go back in and pick up just a little bit and add. Now you also could um, use some of uh, the water color wonder, I think it's called, um, paper to be able to um, get more of a watercolor effect. So I'm going to leave it like that. And of course, we just want to squeeze the water out to get that tip nice and cleaned off. And depending, usually I'll leave mine, but you can just use your little cloth to wipe that up. All right, so I'm going to grab some of my blends just to show you. And see, if we did have the um, Wink of Stella, then it would be kind of icy, more icy looking. All right, so I'm going to do crumb cake for her hair. And I'm going to do, let's see what I got. One of these, soft succulent, I think. And I do have balmy blue. So I think we'll use those. So with the Stampin' Blends, we have, of course, our thin line means it's the pen side, so finer tip. And then the brush side is the thicker line. And I always put the light on first. And you don't want to wait too long between your like putting layers on because you want to be able to blend the alcohol together while it's still wet. So in this case, I'm going to use the, paint, the paintbrush end and just kind of smush it together. You can't see it as, as much on her hair because um, she has so many lines. But I'm going to add a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon cider to her hair because highlights. There we go. All right, so I said I was gonna do the pillow and succulent. Something like that. And you kind of want to think about how oopsie, this is the dark. how the color looks in the light. So if you have a light source coming in one way, then it might be a little darker on one end. Kind of like this. And then because this is the end of the pillow, it's going to be a little darker. And I flip back and forth between the fine tip. And I know it's a little hard to see on the camera because it's so far away, but you can see how it's darker on one side and darker on this side. I think I need a little more dark on that side. You don't want to put too much ink on because then it starts to bleed. So this is starting to bleed just a little bit at the top of that um, pillow. All right, so we're going to use, um, I was going to color in her shirt and whatever, but now I don't know. We're going to use some smoky slate. We'll get a whole bunch of markers going on here. All right, so I'm going to use balmy blue for her for jeans, I think, and uh, smoky slate for her top. Let's see how that works. Okay. This is her shoulder. And that's the window frame there, so I don't want to paint that. But this would be a little darker because it's farther away. So 
so you can kind of tell there is when I've done with the darker. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the light again. And do that. And I'm going to go back in and just put a little bit of dark in some of the spaces, places, just to get that to show up a little bit more. So there is the completed shirt. And it's a trial and error, just playing around with the blends. And, uh, oops. Let's get the paintbrush. So blue jeans are usually a little bit darker. Well, I like them a little darker, but because it's balmy blue. Now you can decide to leave her white like this, not colored in her arms and her legs, or you can choose to use um, some of the other blends. to color in the skin. So get a skin tone. So you can leave it the same color as basic white, or you can uh, color her in using ivory or even cinnamon cider, or there's a whole bunch of different colors you can use to get the color of skin that you'd like if you want to change it up. Okay. And then we're going to leave the cup. We're going to leave the cup. Should we do the cup? Let's do the cup and dark crumb cake. There we go. So there is our little colored in image. And you could do that pain idea instead of using um, the uh, water painters or the Wink Stella. You could use balmy, balmy blue light and dark blends. All right. So now our, and see it bleeds through. So it's always good to have something on your table too. So now we're going to glue this on to our balmy blue piece. You want to make sure that three sides are mostly evenish because you don't have um, a blue edge over here. So, like so. We already have this glued down. So, then we can glue this down. And you could add some more cardstock in to change up the design a bit. Whoopsie. Sorry, get it right on my paper better than my desk. Or you could add some ribbon, some, I might grab some rhinestones, but I'll just stick this right like this. But you can add some ribbon on there if you wanted. You can add some more cardstock colors or other layers in here if, if this is too plain. But I just wanted to show a nice simple card, how to use some designer series paper with um, some coloring on that image. So if you've enjoyed this video um, and the sneak peek of this stamp set, I'm going to move this because it has glue on it, um, then uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if getting sneak peeks and being able to buy new product early is something that you're interested in, um, there'll be a link below on how you can join Stampin' Up! And there's a um, special going on in November of 2021. So I'll have that information uh, linked in the description. So thank you very much.